The quiet little town of Mitchell, Indiana, was even quieter than usual today as residents sat glued to television sets witnessing the tragedy unfold at Cape Canaveral, a tragedy they've been through before. Nineteen years and one day before the space shuttle Challenger exploded, native son Virgil Gus Grissom died along with fellow astronauts Edward White and Roger Chaffee. They died on the launch pad when their Apollo 1 capsule suddenly burst into flame. Today's tragedy brought back those memories, especially for a friend of the Grissom family who acted as their spokesman 19 years ago. I'm hurt. Uh, I feel almost gutted. Uh, exhausted, even. Uh, it's, uh, that's something I don't think we'll ever get used to. Uh, most unpleasant, yet at the same time it's something that uh, uh, I'm surprised it hasn't happened before this. After making the second American manned space flight in the Liberty Bell 7, Grissom was hailed as a hero in a ceremony in downtown Louisville. Three years later, he flew three orbits around the Earth in this capsule with co-pilot John Young. Less than two years after that flight, Grissom was dead, a harsh reminder of the dangers of space flight. But the people of Mitchell say despite this latest tragedy, the space program must continue. Like airplane crashes too, you don't quit flying just because you have a wreck. And same thing really we gotta have it and we're gonna it's like everything else it's gotta they gotta keep going with it and they will they ain't nothing to stop it i think that we should continue with our program just because something like this happened doesn't say that we should quit we knew that i think the american people knew that something like this would happen i spoke with members of the grissom family by phone they told me they'd been asked repeatedly whether they thought the tragic deaths of seven people in the shuttle explosion should mean the end of the space program they say they didn't believe that in 1967 when gus died and they don't believe it now and even gus grissom himself answered that question in a quote on his memorial here in mitchell indiana the conquest of space is worth the risk of human life john mcgrath action 11 news night team mitchell indiana